I would say the objectives are uh, first and foremost to develop players. Boundary Road, take me home. Your Vancouver Whitecaps FC2 start the season at home. Ugh, I shouldn't sing all of this, eh? Sorry about that, guys. Your Vancouver Whitecaps FC2 are set to kick off their second season in MLS Next Pro this Sunday at home. WFC2 are with over a dozen returning players, four new Canadians, and new head coach in Ricardo Clark. Um, so right now they, they look they look decent. Uh, we've had uh, three or four preseason games in addition to inner squads, and uh, during that time they've been sort of uh, getting used to how I want them to play and getting familiar and comfortable uh, in the game model and the playing principles. Just like I'm expecting with every team, uh, you know, a little, a little fire fire in them. Definitely for starting the first game of the season, everybody's going to want to go 100% right away. So, yeah, I'm expecting a great game. They're a great opponent. Um, yeah, you said they didn't start so well last season, but regardless of that, they're, uh, they're a great opponent. Personally, I just hope we have a good, good season all together because if our team performs well, you know, it looks good, good on everybody, our coaches, the other players individually. So as long as we all perform um, well together, I feel like it'll give everybody uh, individual opportunities. They need to develop uh, collectively and knowing how to play in a structure, in a system uh, with other players. And then I would say on another level, they need to be developing individually. Uh, another element is just dealing with the, the dynamics of a second team environment, right? Is dealing with the changes of up and down, players in and out, and learn, learning how to adapt and perform within uh, those sort of uh, different dynamics on a day to day. Everyone here, uh, not just our team, but other second teams have the aspiration of jumping to the first team. And so uh, as the league grows, it just gives more players more opportunities to, to grow and, and try to make that jump to the first team, so yeah. Um, you know, I learned a lot being with the first team guys, you know, a lot of the older guys to help mentor me and, um, you know, give me lessons, teach me that I can then, you know, bring to this team and also teach the younger guys at, at um, this level. So it's, it's just, it just helped all around. Offensively, we want to be expansive. Uh, we want to be expansive. Uh, we want to look to play forward at every opportunity we have. Uh, and with that, we want to be on the attacking side. We want to be ready to transition and play forward quickly, have runners in behind, uh, have runners uh, and options in between lines uh, to hopefully contribute to a successful attack. Defensively, uh, uh, we want to be zonal orientated. Uh, there's a couple of thoughts behind that is to hopefully be somewhat similar to the first team just in case they have to make that jump and they're familiar with that sort of defensive structure. Uh, but within that, we want to be zonal, but we want to be ready to build pressure um, uh, in the right moments and press on the right triggers. WFC2 hosts Timbers 2 on Sunday at the iconic Swan Guard Stadium. And remember, if you're a Whitecaps FC season ticket holder, you have access to all of the second team's home games for free, including this one. So be sure to be there. Kick is at 7. From the National Soccer Development Center, I'm Sarita Patel.